Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. Let's talk a little bit about low cholesterol or the cholesterol issues seen in autism um, and the therapies that can actually be used to help raise cholesterol. Now, it's interesting because we've, we've talked so much in medicine over the years about high cholesterol. We know that high cholesterol is a precursor to heart disease. It can be a you know, risk factor for heart disease and stroke if the cholesterol levels go up too high. But you very rarely ever hear about low cholesterol. In fact, most doctors would look at low cholesterol and say, hey, great, you know, you're doing fantastic. You want low cholesterol to prevent against heart disease. The problem is, is that you can go too low. And we know that when your cholesterol is too low, it can create problems as far as your hormones in your body, immune function in the body, as well as the nervous system. Cholesterol is a balance. Like anything in the body, everything is in a balance. You can have certain things that are too high, or and if they go too low, that can be problematic. A perfect example would be things like sodium, sodium and potassium. You know, if your sodium levels go too high, or your potassium level too, levels go too high, that's a problem. But if they go too low, that's not good either. Cholesterol is the same way. Cholesterol is very important for hormone development in the body. Matter of fact, cholesterol is actually the precursor to sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, DHEA. It's also the precursor to cortisol, which is a stress hormone in the body that helps to control inflammation, uh, and a hormone that helps to control sodium and potassium levels in the body as well. So cholesterol plays a big role in, in uh, hormone development. Cholesterol is also important um, in immune function, and it's very critical for brain development. Matter of fact, cholesterol makes up a large percentage of our cell membrane, and the cell membranes are what helps our cells communicate with each other. So the pliability and the plasticity, if you will, or the elasticity of our cell membranes allows for cell-to-cell -cell communication. Cholesterol is also involved in myelin. Myelin is what helps surround the nerve cells that help with the speed of conductivity of electrical impulses between cells. So cholesterol is very, very important for our overall health. Now what has been discovered, Great Plains and, and through the work of Dr. Shaw, he found that many individuals on the autism spectrum actually have very low cholesterol. Now there's a genetic disorder called SLOS, which is where these kids lack a particular enzyme that helps them to actually make adequate amounts of cholesterol. So it's a genetic disorder. And they have actually found that individuals with this condition, SLOS, have very, very low cholesterol levels. Extremely low, sometimes less than 60 or even 50 on a blood test. Uh, and sometimes the levels can get down even lower than that. The kids many times manifest with different types of uh, physical features, but behavioral problems too. A lot of aggressive behavior, irritability, self-injurious behavior, learning problems, cognitive problems, etc. Now they have found that certain individuals with SLOS also have autism. What we have found, what Dr. Shaw has found, what I found through my practice through testing this is that the majority of kids in the spectrum that I've seen have low cholesterol as well. Not to the level of the SLOS kids, but not optimal levels either. So I've seen, you know, the lowest I've seen in my practice was a child who had a cholesterol level of 65. Um, we're actually looking for a total cholesterol of around 170 to 180 to be optimal. And what they have found is that less than 160 can coincide with various symptoms. You know, aggressive behavior, behavioral problems, learning problems, etc. On average, most of the kids that I've seen have been around 110 to 120. So probably in that, you know, 100 to 130 range with an average of 110 to 120 is where most of the cholesterol levels fall. Now, typically cholesterol, the only way to really get the levels up was to eat large amounts of eggs, um, you know, which is, is about 250 milligrams per egg of cholesterol. Um, or you could eat brain, which not too many people are doing, or liver, okay? So for the most part, a lot of the kids who have the SLOS condition, they're having them eat you know, huge amounts of eggs every day. New Beginnings, which is a supplement company, one of the supplement companies that I use commonly in my practice, carries a particular supplement called Sonic Cholesterol, S-O-N-I-C, Sonic Cholesterol, which is 250 milligrams of pure cholesterol, um, non-egg derived, so it's hypoallergenic, per capsule. And this is a very effective thing to use to help raise cholesterol levels back up nor towards those normal ranges. Now, in my practice, I have not seen a child go from too low cholesterols to too high a cholesterols in using this particular supplement. It's something that transitions over time. It's usually a couple, you know, two, three, or four months of using this particular um, supplement to get those levels up. 
So it's not something that changes rapidly that you will see on a blood test. However, you can sometimes see rapid changes in cognitive development, behavioral problems, when you implement cholesterol supplementation. So again, sonic cholesterol is a, uh, a particular supplement that you can, that you can get now um, to help raise cholesterols. It is a physician order supplement only, so uh, New Beginnings will not sell it direct to the public. Um, it has to have a physician order behind it. Um, and it's always a good idea that you're working with a physician on this just so that you can track your child's cholesterol levels you know, once they're low and track it you know, every you know, couple months with a blood test to see where the levels go. And you know, obviously as the levels normalize and you reach that 170, 180 mark, then the need you know, for, either, for aggressive therapy at that point really isn't warranted. You may continue with just some maintenance therapy over time. Um, but uh, the cholesterol supplementation is, is, is a very, very important therapy, and, and I've seen it and, and used it in my practice now with very, very, very good success. So one of the things that you gotta look for with your kids, if you're doing any type of blood testing, if you're going to a doctor, a pediatrician, neurologist, have them run a cholesterol panel, or what's called a lipid panel, to look for the value of total cholesterol. And if it's less than 160, um, then cholesterol supplementation should be considered at that point. Okay? Thanks.